All right, we're gonna solve a radical equation and then check the solution. So what you wanna first do is isolate the square root. So we have to subtract two from both sides so that this two is off to the right. Now we're going to undo this square root on the left side by squaring both sides. So what happens is that this square root and this squared cancel out and we're left with a radicand of 2x minus 1. On the right, we have a binomial that is squared. So we have to write it as two separate binomials and we're going to have to FOIL. First, outside, inside, last. So the left side stays as 2x minus 1. The right side is first, outside, inside, last. Now we're going to write it in standard form. So we're going to move all of the terms to the right side. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides and add a 1 to both sides. Now I'm going to combine like terms. Negative 2x minus 2x minus 2x is negative 6x. 4 plus 1 is 5. Now we're going to factor it. So we're going to say, what are the factors of 5 that add to negative 6? And they are negative 5 and positive, uh, negative 1. Now we're going to use our zero product property. We're going to set x minus 5 equal to 0 and solve it for x. And then x minus 1 equal to 0 and solve for x. So these are the possible solutions for x. We still need to check to see if they are true. So we're going to check the solutions. So I'm just going to break this slide in half and we're going to start by checking x equals 5 and then we'll check x equals 1. So when you check a solution you're substituting it into the original equation. So I highlight that in yellow. So 2 times 5, so replace that x with 5, minus 1 plus 2, replace the x with 5. Now we simplify. 2 times 5 is 10, subtract 1 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. This is true, so we do have an answer for x equals 5 as a solution. Now let's go to the right side. We're going to substitute 1 in for x. Let's replace the 1. Replace the 1. Simplify. 2 times 1 is 2. Subtract 1 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. Looking at that equation, it is not true. 3 cannot equal 1. So this answer is not a possible solution. So therefore, we have one answer for x. x equals 5.